Let's take a look at uh, finding the population variance of the following data in R, the R language. Now, as far as I know, there is no um, population variance function. Uh, but you never know. With each version that comes out, they may have come out with one and I just wasn't able to locate it. Um, so I'm going to write a program for it. Uh, so go to R and I'll do a file, um, new script. And I'm going to save it. So I do a file, save. And I'll call this the population variance. Dot R. Okay, well I need to bring in my data. I'll use X. So I got 13, 19, 23, 31, 45, 46, 47, 51, and 53. Now let's re recall what our formula looks like. The population variance is equal to the sum, and uh, made that kind of sloppy. Let's try it again. There we go. The sum of x minus mu, population mean, squared, uh, divided by capital N. Um, so let's see how to how to do this. First off, I need the mean. And uh, so I'm going to calculate that. I'll say mu is equal to the mean of x. Now here we're going to do x minus mu. So let's let's build this as we go along. So we've got x minus mu. That's this inner part right here. Now I need parentheses around it, and then I need squared. So I got. Um, Parentheses and squared. And then I got this um, uppercase sigma in front of it. That tells me to sum it, to add them. So I'm going to put a sum in front of it. Now that's going to give me this top value. And um, I could, if I wanted to, set that equal to a variable. Uh, let me set it equal to total. Okay, so that's setting it equal to a variable. Now I need to figure my population variance. So population variance is going to equal to my total divided by the length, so this is a function, of x. That returns how many numbers are in, in uh, the data set x. And then I want to print, print my population variance. Okay, so let me save that. So I'll do a file save. And then I'll do an edit and run all. Now let me go to window and go to our console. And I got something wrong. <laughs> it isn't that small. Let me double check my uh, my script. Okay. Um, let me see. 13, 19, 23, 31. Okay, those numbers look reasonable. Put in the X. Okay, I found mu. Oh, okay. I see it's probably doing a sum before it. Uh, does a squared if I had to guess so let me put a beginning parentheses there and closing parentheses there sometimes if you're not sure about the order of operations then put extra set of parentheses and then you know what's happening because programming wise we know it's doing this first and then it'll handle that okay so let me do an edit uh, run all and let me uh, go to the console and we get a value now and that looks very reasonable, actually. Okay, so our um, our population variance, rounded two decimal places, will be 202.91. In this um, in this particular um, video, we wrote a program to help us uh, compute the population variance, and we've named it a name such that we can keep just bring it up and just change our data set here, and then. Uh, it'll calculate the population variance for us. Bring that back up. I hate how these windows work in R, but oh well. 